Hey everyone, this is Abhishek and in this video we'll be taking a look at the Hyper Graphics Pack version 2. So this is the updated version of the Hyper Graphics Pack which I reviewed earlier on this channel. And with this update there are more than 1250 elements included in it along with new categories and lot of other stuff. Also there are over 400 plus scenes that have been added under different subcategories and there are a lot of new designs and animations that are included under titles, social media, stories, lower thirds and much more. Not only this with the latest version of easy edit viewer you get all the features like quick preview, easy to edit, auto resize, all these with improved functionality. And in case you guys are not sure whether you should get this product or not there is a free demo version to this so you can head over to the link in the description below and you can try this pack out before purchasing so without wasting any further ado let's jump straight into after effects and get started all right so here we are in after effects and as you can see that i've already installed the easy edit viewer and i've already installed the pack as well the installation process is very easy you will find all the details within the download and after installation you can access it by simply going to windows under extension you can enable the easy edit viewer and it will give you this nice talkable panel so over here you can see we have different folders for different categories and you can quickly click on any of them and it will give you access to the subcategories within the main category and you can again click on any of one of them and it will give you all the elements that are present within it so you can quickly hover on to any of these slides and it will give you a nice preview in this panel and you can simply import them by simply clicking on this import button so first of all let's create a new composition and let's call this test one and you can set the width and height to 1920 by 1080 now these slides are auto resizable so it will automatically change their dimensions according to the size of the composition so we are going to create another composition and let's call this test 2 and for this one we are going to change it and make it a vertical comp just like this for mostly for your mobile devices and stuff like that so let's go to the composition one and over here you can see i can simply click on any of the design and import it inside the composition so make sure you are inside the composition and if you click on import it will import all the elements within the composition so once it has imported you can see that we have this nice preview over here and we also get the editable properties over here so first of all we can change the in and out point however you want you can make it appear longer by simply dragging these handles and you can change the out point just like this and if i play back here you can see that all the animations are happening now it is very easy to edit this by simply going under the essential graphics you can see we have different placeholders so i can simply select the text and i can type motion and over here you can see that it has updated the text and in the same way you can type whatever you want and it will automatically be updated over here just like this so in the same way you can edit all the text however you want you can also individually change the position and size of the text so you can move it around just like this and you can also change its size however you want so you can make it smaller or bigger just like this so in the same way you can edit all the text and you can also change the colors so if you want to make it blue you can just simply do that and over here you can see that it has updated you can also add your custom placeholder so for example if you want to add your image over here you can just go inside the composition and under the placeholder category let's import one of the images that i want to use so just simply import it and you can quickly scale it and just align it however you want you can do that from here or you can do it from here as well and if i go back here you can see that our image has been updated and now if i play back here you can see that the animation is happening so it is very easy to edit all these elements just like this and you can also use the same design in the vertical comps as well so if i go to the test 2 and if i select the same animation and click on import and once it has imported you can see that now the elements have aligned themselves according to this vertical composition so in the same way you can edit all of these details just by simply using the 
essential graphics panel and you can just edit pretty much all the slides within this category and there are a bunch of other categories so let's jump into them you can also click on this icon and it will give you the old look just like this over here you can see that we have all the categories and over here we have all the slides in it so you can see that there are some new categories such as logo reveal uh, we have this sound design sound effects category as well and moreover all the elements in other categories have been redesigned so let's jump into the presentation category and this one is a new updated category and and over here we have different designs which you can use to promote your products and you can showcase them to your clients uh, to build your portfolio and stuff like that these are also auto resizable so you can use them in a vertical composition horizontal or even a square comp as well so once again these are very easy to use all you have to do is just simply select and just click on import and once it has imported you can see that we have this animation over here you can again go inside the comp and quickly add your image just like this just scale it up according to your comp and if you play back here you can see that we have our animations you can obviously change the colors and change the look of it however you want by simply using the essential graphics and you can make it look however you want just like this so in the same way you can edit all the elements within this category and other and now let's jump into the logo reveal section so this is a new category that was not in the previous version so if you update it now you will get this category as well so over here you can see that we have some really nice logo animations you can easily preview them just like this and if you want to use any of them just simply click on import just like this and once it has been imported you can preview it just like this and let me just quickly delete all of these and here you can change the colors as well however you want just like this and if you want you can change your logo by simply going under the logo composition and you can drag and drop your logo over here and it will automatically update so this is how you can edit all of these logo animations so these are very professionally designed so you can use them in the horizontal or vertical compositions as well and over here we have the title category so there are a lot of new designs which were not included in the earlier version so all these have been pretty much redesigned and now they are very useful so you can use them for different purposes and you can also combine multiple elements to create your own unique looks so for example if i want to use this title i can simply click on import and once it has been imported let me just delete this logo comp just like this and over here you can see we can edit the properties just like this and for example you want to use an animated background you can simply jump to the background section and you can choose whatever background you want so for example you want to use this one just click on import and there you go you can place it below the title and now if i play back here you can see that we have this new kind of element which we created from the elements within the pack so this is how you can create your own unique looks and once again you can change the colors to match the look of the scene just like this and there you go you have your own custom animated element so in the same way you can combine multiple categories and have your own elements and we have this social media category as well so under the stories you can see we have different kind of stories which you can use to promote your product or business on instagram and all of these are very professionally designed so you can just simply click on any of them and it will import it into your composition just like this and once again you can add your own content like this and now if you go back here you can see that it has changed and you can use it to promote your business just like this so you can also edit the colors however you want to match your branding 
also within the social media category you have the post option so over here you can see we have different kind of posts so you can promote them on different social media platform for example this one is for facebook and you can promote them on instagram just like this and we also have some elements so you can use them for example the subscribe button to promote your channel on youtube stuff like that and these are very nicely designed so you can use them in however you want and we have the lower thirds so these are also redesigned and you can use them for different purposes we also have other categories that were present in the earlier version as well but now they have some redesigned elements as well so you can use them for different purposes and over here we can see we have the transition category so you can use them to however you want here you can see we get the really nice preview so how these animations are going to look it all they also have sound effects in them so i'm not sure whether you are able to hear it or not so as the transition is happening there is an animation sound playing as well and over here we have the background so we have few new backgrounds that have been added and under the gradient elements we have these category so all these were present in the earlier as well and there are some new add-ons to this one and over here we have the sound effects category and these are the sound effects which are included exclusively into this update and you can simply hover on to them and it will give you a nice preview of the sound effects and there are different categories over here as well and you can use them for different purposes so again using the sound effects is very easy just simply select whatever sound you want to use and click on import and once it is done you can simply preview it and over here you can see that the sound is playing in the background and this is how you can use all the elements within this pack so there are more than 1250 elements in this pack and all these are very nicely designed so you can jump to whatever category you want and quickly preview them and just use them into your composition you can also combine them with different elements to get different looks and you can use them to promote your business and stuff like that so this is a very nice product i would totally recommend this to you guys and you can also go to the store tab within this viewer and it will give you all the packs that have been designed by easy edit and you can purchase them directly by simply clicking on to them and it will take you to the browser from where you can preview it and purchase it so we have different categories for different softwares and you can also access the help and support by simply clicking over here and you can ask directly whatever you want and you will get a 24 7 response so that's it for this video this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one